I'm not even joking when I say we have a battle camel and a lobster in Warpath. I don't know what Lilith is thinking, but it's real. We also have two new officers and 10 star units. So with a little bit of Photoshop magic, let's expose what Lilith has posted. And if you didn't believe it by the shape alone, then bam, we have a camel with some Gatling guns and an armored lobster. As far as why, why? What value does this add to Warpath? I have no idea. Is it fun? Not really. I mean, it's different and unique, and maybe they're trying to do some what they think are fun things, but I don't find this kind of thing fun in Warpath. I think it's a complete waste of time. So it's silly, and I don't even know what else to say about it, guys. So let's just leave it there. But we, yes, we have a battle camel with Gatling guns and an armored lobster probably coming to Warpath at some point in the future for whatever reason in some kind of event. I don't know. Okay, moving on. We have two new officers. We have what I think is a new infantry officer. He's carrying a landmine. He's carrying a landmine detector. Originally, I thought he was basically like Iron Man version one with a flamethrower or a Robocop, but it turns out, no, he's just another new officer, likely infantry. That would be my guess. We have not had a new infantry officer in some time, and it's about time that they add another one. Players are starting to use infantry more. Players are starting to upgrade infantry, and it turns out infantry is actually pretty good. The other officer is, I'm assuming, neither Liberty or Vanguard. Her aesthetics tell me that she's Martyr's Watch, but there's nothing about her design that tells me what kind of officer she actually is. She has a Cobra, Cobra's Bite. Maybe she's a helicopter or a tank officer. Something to do with piercing damage. I have no idea. So there's that. I'm guessing she's Martyr's Watch. If I had to guess, uh, let's see, we've just recently received a super heavy tank officer, We're getting an infantry officer. It's been leaked that there's an exclusive air officer. So that leaves effectively either a tank and helicopter officer or another artillery officer. And it's just gotta be one of those two things. And based on her design, I'm gonna have to take a wild guess and say likely helicopter but uh, i don't know all right let's talk about 10 star units of course there's probably going to be 10.1 and 10.2 star units as well uh wow it's early it's too early i don't think it's necessarily wrong because we had 7.2 units for about a year maybe a year and a half, and then they introduced modern units. We've had modern units for, I don't know, it feels like it's been less than a year. Maybe it's been a year. They really messed up with super weapons. I feel like this is another progression of messing up like super weapons because it just feels too early. Most free-to-play players have barely made their first 9.2 unit yet alone even been able to upgrade that 9.2 unit to midway at 48%, yet alone even max. Now, the Mega Whales that are playing in Paramount Cup and Legendary, yeah, they might have a full army of 9.2 units and 9.2 error. So this is really for them, guys. That's the way you have to think about this update with 10-star units, is this is not for free-to-play players. However, it's almost as if Lilith wants free-to-play players to only ever be able to play with one unit. That's how it feels, because the way they are changing the game and designing it, and, you know, yeah, they gave reverse engineering blueprints, three of them. I used all three of mine to reset my army. But by doing this, the end effect is free-to-play players are going to be pressured into building one unit because they're multiple nine star, multiple 9.1. And if they're lucky to even have multiple 
and those 9.2 will probably not be very good, will get steamrolled by these new 10, 10.1, and 10.2 star units. So ergo, free play players are effectively going to run one unit as max and as high as they could go. Now, okay, do the unit tier, unit star restrictions on the limited conquest battlefield solve that problem? Yes, I, I think it does. So that ultimately might be the answer, guys, is to play in a li uh, unit star limit theater conquest battlefield. Maybe the game experience will be much more enjoyable. I still would like to try that after it comes out one day. Just see what it's like. Maybe it's more fun. I don't know. I think it might be. I think it might be more balanced. It's not perfect, but I do think it might be more balanced. So anyway, that is my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below so we can discuss what the heck is going on with Warpath these days.